Hey, hi folks. Today we are going to start a new series. I named it as The Good One. In this Good One series, we will learn so many topics regarding to English language learning. To get fluency, we will discuss so many topics and weekly you will get three videos. For two days, I will upload one video. So stay tuned to our channel and subscribe it and share with your friends and family if you like my explanation. So let's start our session. Okay. Today we are going to learn about the usage of am, is, are in simple present tense. Okay, you heard right. Let's start this. Let's observe some examples. I am Mahesh KT. I am in my early 20. I am I am completed a course on teaching at Government Aid Bukapatnam. I am one of the two siblings. Rani is a good girl. Raju is a bad boy. She is beautiful. He is a handsome boy. It is big in size. My sister is 18. My brother is very tall. Shravani and I are good friends. Your keys are on the table. You are a viewer. Right? They are my siblings. By observing these examples, we may get a conclusion that we use am 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 in front of i so when we use i we use am usually am will occur in simple present tense and in present continuous tense but when am occur in simple present tense it acts like main verb not only am is are am is are also acts like a main verb in simple present tense that is a main thing that you have to notice. If you observe, I am Mahesh KT. In this sentence, the am is a main verb and it is in simple present tense. If you observe, she is beautiful. In this sentence, is is acting like a main verb. And let observe another example. You are a viewer, right? In this sentence, are is a main verb. It acts like a main verb and it is in simple present tense. You have to notice that. So, by observing these examples, we may get conclusion that where to use am, is, are. We use am in front of I and we use is in front of third person singulars. They are he, she, it and singular names. Okay, and we use R A R E R in front of second person and uh, third person plurals like we, you, and uh, plural naming words, for example. And also, we use R when there is a conjunctional usage, and Sravani and I are good friends, right. So this is, so simply am in front of I is in front of he, she, it singular names and uh, are in front of we, you and plural naming words. Okay. And today we are going to learn about some more thing. We use apostrophe yes. In, in two situations one is in possessive situation and one is contraction situation possessiveness and contractionness and in these two situations we have there is a difference when we have to identify when we are reading or when we use a sentence when you are listening to someone's speech you have to recognize whether he is uh, saying that the possession or contraction form you have to identify it Okay, let's observe some examples. It's a beautiful picture. In this sentence, here it's is not a possessive case. Here it is a contraction case. It means it is a beautiful picture. 
she is a beautiful girl in this also it is a contraction so apostrophe s yes. when comes to its i t s its we use apostrophe s yes only in contraction form whereas in possessive case we don't use apostrophe we use simply i t s its ante okay so that is the main difference you have to remember about its okay only in contraction form that means when we when we use the verb is we have to put apostrophe it apostrophe s yes. in possessive case we don't use apostrophe only in the case of its and other things are normal we use apostrophe s yes. okay i will place in the display what are the apostrophe forms and what are the contraction forms of uh, i am is are contraction forms okay you have to remember them and when we come to simple present tense we discuss about positive sentences we have the negative side also we have the negative structures also we have the negative sentences regarding to the am is are in simple present tense so simply like i am not mahesh kati i am not in my early 20 i am not completed a course on teaching rani is not a good girl raju is not a bad boy she is not beautiful it is not big it is not big in size my sister is not 18 my brother is not very tall savani and i are not good friends your keys are not on the table we are not enemies you are not a viewer they are not my siblings so simply they give the negative sense of the positive statements that i pronounced before these sentences right so you have to remember them simply by placing not after the main verbs or the am is or we may get the negative sentences of them so this is today's uh, grammar topic and we have to we have the one more thing to discuss that is about fluency and uh, to learn english language and tips to follow today i will tell you about one single tip that is you have to think in english <laughs> are you joking how can a person think in english you may say that but i will tell you and i will explain it don't worry about it thinking in english is not so difficult for example what is this it's a pen you can say you have to identify it and you have to get the name of this in english and you have to observe your surroundings and you have to for example you are observing a child it's a child it's a bag it's a light it's a camera it there are books it's a chair it is a watch so in this manner by observing your surroundings you may get uh, some sentences or some words regarding to that particular thing if you don't know the name of any object you have to find it you have to think in english for at least 5 minutes a day in this manner definitely it will help you to learn english language so this is friends today's session i hope you all enjoyed it if you like my session do follow and share with your friends and family and subscribe to our channel to get notifications about 
our newly our newly updated or uploaded videos so thank you for watching this is mahesh kt and you are watching target dsc channel signing off bye bye now